What do I see? This your girl QPD coming at y'all 100% live and direct. And I'm coming at y'all with the requested video. But first, I know I look a mess. I'm tired. I just got off work. Um, So, yeah. So, this is... Um, I wanted to share this really, really quick with y'all. For those of y'all that like Sonia Kashuk brushes like I do, among other brushes, they have a new set out. As y'all can see... Um, you get about, what, five brushes for 15 bucks. That's not bad because that's less than $5 a piece. Um, more like three, something like that. Anyway, and you also have the breast cancer out, um, breast cancer ones out. Um, those look a little bit harsh. These look a bit more softer. Um, you get your powder brush, crease brush, your shadow brush, your concealer brush, and your smudge brush for 15 bucks. So I thought I'd just share that with y'all, but that's not what this video is about. This is a requested video because um, Trey Sester, and I'll put her name here, um, requested I do uh, comparisons between um, OCC and Sleek. Now, um, as y'all know, I just hauled, hauled um, Sleek paint, Pout Paint. And I have this one here and which one? I can't remember which one this one is. Milkshake. Now, going to graffitis, this is OCC's Divine. They look very similar. But we're going to try, try them out. So we're going to start off with OCC. And as y'all know, you don't need very little to achieve the look you're looking for. Okay, so this is OCC's Divine, and y'all know I wouldn't wear this like this, but this, for the sake of comparison, comparisons, um, I'm doing this without a liner and any gloss. But this is Divine. This is a real orangey pink. Um, this reminds me of Malibu Barbie. Okay. This is this is not as moisturizing. Um, it goes on, you know, fairly soft and easy. And I give it a ten out of ten because it doesn't go on that hard. Didn't need a lot. Um, it has a minty smell to it. Um, this will settle in your lines, just so you know. Okay. So this is OCC's Divine without a liner or a gloss. Just so for you guys that are not paying attention. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe this off and come back at you guys with the sleek um, cosmetic one. Okay, you guys, I'm back. And I am coming with you um with the aftermath of taking it off um a little residue that i can see um let's see and a little residue after wiping it off maybe three or four times so as y'all know to see what last with y'all last with you all day um and y'all know the, the applicator on these paint pouts are a little bit different than the um, OCC, which has the slanted kind of like doe foot almost. So let's go ahead and see what this paint pout is like. And yeah.
Okay, you guys, so this one is Milkshake by um, Sleek Cosmetics, our makeup, their uh, pout paints. This one has a, doesn't have a minty smell to it. It has more of a clean smell, but you don't really smell it once you, after you finish applying it. Um, these are a little bit more moisturizing than the OCC. Um, a little bit of this goes a long way as well. So, um, hmm. This one, this one still does settle into your lines, just so you guys know. Um, I didn't put any gloss on. I didn't put anything before, nothing. This is just from the tube brush and bam, there you have it. Um, this one is not as corally as the Divine from OCC. This one's a little bit more... This has a little bit of a, a peachy color to it. Um, a, but a little bit still on the, on the pink side still. So this is this is still pretty. Um, they're very fairly close. So you won't have to be like, which one should I get? They're fairly close. This one's a little bit more corally pink. Um, this one's more on the peachy pink. With, you know, it's... They're not very far, you know. Peach and um, coral is still from the same orange family, so but like I said, that the paint pouts were very moisturized, they're more moisturizing than the OCC. A little does go a long way, they still um, settle into your lines. The lasting power, I don't know because I have not worn the paint pouts long enough to know, but um, yeah, I mean. The only negative about OCC is just it's a little drying. The paint pouts, if I wanted to, I would go out just like the well with the liner of course and blend it in and but I wouldn't put a, a um a lip gloss on top. So yeah. There you guys have the comparisons. This is my review on it. My take, um, QPD's take. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, like I said, you know, this is not something you can just go like this and be on your way. You do have to take your time and get it in there. You know, because if not, you're going to look a hot mess. It's going to be too much. Just so y'all know. But another thing with this is, I'm sorry. This is thirteen dollars from OCC. This is eight bucks. Now, if you're ordering just one of these or even two of these, is it really worth it? Because it is a, a UK company. If you're gonna order some multitude of things, yeah, this is worth it. It's only eight dollars. It's thirteen. But if you just bought one of these, opposed to the OCC, you're gonna spend more for this than you will for that just a heads up so you won't think oh I'm going to go to the sleek because it's cheaper yeah you can go to sleek but you're going to spend the $10 in shipping for that one item so I would suggest you create a list of things that you are interested in um, and yeah make a list and hopefully you can make a decent amount of order where it's worth it but you know honestly um, I can't say they have every color OCC has I'm not saying I'm not going to stop purchasing from OCC um, it just means that there's another alternative for some people that cannot afford OCC. Um, so, or you want to try something else. Now, OCC has a broader range of lip tars than Sleek has its pout paints. Um, however, it's totally up to you. So, I hope this helps Trey Sester, and I hope this helps anyone else that was curious of knowing what it looked like. How how the difference was? Was it really worth it? Um, definitely check them out. Okay, so next time, guys, I love you and bye.